So in 2017, Kugel were really trying to make a name for themselves with releasing some really nice cases, headsets, keyboard and mice. And today we have an improvement on 2017's keyboards. And this is the Puri series, which comes in a 10 keyless form and also a 104 size keyboard. Though of course that big question remains, is this the right Cougar for you? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna help answer that for you. Welcome back to Tech Yes, it is Brian coming to you guys today with a look at two different keyboards from Cougar, their Puri and also their Puri TKL. Now the Puri, it comes in at 75 USD, or if you're in Australia, 95 AUD. Now the TKL version comes in at 70 USD and also 89 AUD. So it's a little bit cheaper, of course, you get those 10 keys cut off or the numpad cut off and it makes it a little bit smaller. Now I do like the TKL over the full size keyboard and that's a little bit more on that later, but what you're getting for the money is actually a pretty good deal. This keyboard comes packed with legit Cherry MX switches. Now you do get the choice of picking either blue or red. And for this review, they sent me out the blue switches, which is what I requested. I'm a big fan of the blue switches in the Cherry MX field line of switches. They have two levels of feedback. They do make a bit of noise, but they really feel nice to type on. And if you guys wanna know the differences between blue and red switches or any other switches for that matter, then I'll put a link in the description below for you guys. But as soon as you open the box, you're greeted with a keyboard with a hard cover of plastic on board. And now this isn't just looks for aesthetics or sort of an unboxing experience. It's actually a protective cover that attaches to the keyboard via magnets. And now the keyboard itself, even though it's a hard plastic design, and on that note, it's very sturdy and pretty lightweight for a mechanical keyboard, it has mechanical metal screws on the keyboard itself on the outsides. This allows this cover to attach to the keyboard. And when you're traveling, you now have an additional layer of protection on your keyboard itself. And this is why I like the TKL. It's not only smaller, but it's lighter itself. Coming in at one kilo without the cover and also 1170 grams with the cover on. As opposed to the full size keyboard, that's 1450 grams with the cover on and 1250 grams with the cover off. And another cool thing with this keyboard is it comes with a modular cable that's a 1.8 meter braided cable that can attach to the keyboard either via the center, right or left, or if you're a little bit janky enough, you can put a hole in your desk and have no wire showing at all. So you kind of get that wireless look if need be. But also more on the build quality itself, it's a very rigid keyboard. I was shocked at how strong this keyboard was. I couldn't bend it no matter how hard I tried. I mean, there was very little flex in the actual keyboard itself. And then typing on this thing, this is where things got even better. It does have a metal back plate. And upon typing on this keyboard, I got one of the highest scores I've got ever. That's 137 words per minute. And of course the noise was pretty controlled for a blue switch out of all the blue switches out there. I'll let you guys have a quick listen. So the typing experience on this keyboard was very nice to say the least. Though one thing you don't get is a wrist rest included, though that's sort of a trend that's coming in with keyboards nowadays. Uh, personally, I like to buy my own like latex, nice soft keyboard rest that I use between different keyboards. And honestly, I would highly recommend you guys get one. They're so much better than those hard plastic wrist rests that come with a lot of keyboards. Though on top of that note of build quality, flex and rigidity, the actual key presses themselves had very little movement in them too when pressed down and also when idle as well when you're not pressing down any keys, there was very little movement too. So this is not only a good thing for people who want a consistent typing experience, but it's also a great thing for gamers who have their fingers sitting idly above the keys and they're ready to press those keys down at a heart's beat notice with games like CSGO or Dota 2 for example. So the build quality was good and the typing experience was good. Now the keycaps themselves, I believe they're ABS plastic. I mean, usually they are ABS plastic because if they are PBT, then you'll see a big thing on the box saying PBT because PBT is generally accepted as a better quality of material to use on your keycaps and it is more expensive. So it is ABS plastic from what I can tell. It does have a little bit of flex in it in the actual keycap themselves. But what about a big important question with this keyboard and that's the backlighting. So far in the B-roll you've probably just seen white LED backlighting and that's unfortunately all this keyboard has. Both the TKL and the normal Puri have just standard white LED backlighting. Now you can adjust this via three levels of brightness. You've got off, level one, level two, and then level three. You can also change the different patterns and also individually backlight different keys themselves and save them to the hardware profile of the keyboard. Unfortunately, there is no software support 
from Cougar themselves with the Puri just yet, so you can't make things like macros from Cougar's own software. Though of course you can circumnavigate that by using a third party software to program some macros if need be. The one good thing is that even the TKL itself has media keys via the function. You also get the media keys on the full size keyboard above the numpad. So now it's conclusion time for the Cougar and their brand new Puri and Puri TKL keyboards. What do I think? Would I recommend them? And I'm gonna say this is sort of a weird recommendation because I like the TKL, that's the 10 keyless design, the small and comes with that hard protective cover. I think this is gonna be a great solution for people who want a travel style keyboard, wanna have a really good typing experience on the road, don't want their keyboard getting damaged, want something that's very consistent, good typing experience. So for 70 USD with legit Cherry MX switches, it's actually pretty good value. And of course for Aussies, that 89 AUD pricing is really good too. Though of course, what about the actual bigger size keyboard, the normal Puri? This is kind of where I think this is entering a hard market. I mean, of course you do get the legit Cherry MX switches, and I do like the clean aesthetic. I mean, a lot of people are gonna love the clean aesthetic, both on the actual font and the keyboard itself and the matte black design, but I think they should have implemented RGB, especially on this model, uh, even if it costs an extra five to $10, is that way you can color coordinate the keyboard to your whole build. For instance, if you want black and red, you can then change the lighting to red. And you've now got a black and red keyboard, uh, green and black or blue and black and the list goes on and also with that on the full size keyboard especially I would have liked to have seen some macro keys on the left and possibly even some software to support those macro keys as my main daily driver keyboard the Blaster X has RGB and also has on the left hand side five macro keys which I can easily program and they don't get in the way of any operations though with that aside it does come in both the Puri and the TKL at a really good price point it is a very solid keyboard especially for typing and it is hitting hard in terms of value for money so Cougar have done a good job on their Puri lineup of keyboards and of course everything is hardware controlled and the cable management is pretty good too and of course with that aside I hope you guys enjoyed today's review if you did then be sure to hit that like button and let me know in the comments section below have you tried a Cougar keyboard before? If not, why not? If so, would you like to try one? Which keyboard would you like to try? Or of course, if you like those good old Cougars, then let me know which kind of Cougar you like. And I'll catch you in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye.